This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. One of my favorite birds is the crow. And the crow always reminded me of a cowboy walking around. You know, the way he's kind of got that little swagger going on. And they are such smart creatures and they're so interesting. And they sometimes get kind of lumped in with other birds, undeservedly so. So let's take a look. And crow season is going on right now. Doggone it. It really hurts my heart to see crows killed and doves, but I'm not going to argue with the hunters. But he is a very interesting little critter, so let's take a look at the crow. Crows are incredible birds. They can count, solve puzzles, and perform other complex tasks. They can mimic sounds, including human voices. Back in the Virginia hills where I come from, the neighbors who ran a still many years ago had a pet crow that warned them when the revenuers were close to the still. Writing for the website Quora, Claire Jordan explained the difference between crows and ravens. Crows and ravens are closely related and are both corvids, said Claire, exceptionally intelligent, omnivorous birds with the problem-solving ability of a human three- or four-year-old and a harsh, croaking cry. The raven is about the size of a small chicken and crows usually about the size of a pigeon. Ravens can be quite predatory and will kill and partially eat lambs. Ravens usually live in small family groups, crows in large flocks. Claire added, the blackbird is a much smaller songbird, a type of thrush. It eats seeds and insects, has a beautiful song, and as far as I know, not particularly bright. Crows tend to be monogamous, mating for life, and waiting to choose a mate. A family of crows can be multi-generational, just like humans. They are affectionate with one another. Leslie the bird nerd has all kinds of reasons for us to like crows and has a great video on the subject. She mentions the fact that crows hold an inquest over their dead, and if they determine the cause of death was a bird of prey, they will gang up and go after it. I have personally seen them going after much larger birds, like hawks and owls. Leslie also cites research of crows eating the corn borer, a marth larva that can be especially destructive to crops. Stories of the crow fill the pages of folklore and are surrounded by mystery and sometimes gloom and doom. But take some time to know this brilliant bird. And if you must shoot, watch out for the crow family that may come after you in retaliation. Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center, right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas, located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, and US-40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure, no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP that brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun. <laughs> 